if a complex function is analytic, only the real part already specifies the full function up to a constant. So, given a real part, you can find the an imaginary part and thus also the full function. Can you? Try this with the following example and then use the video to see whether you did this correctly. So we're looking for an analytic function f of z. We set as usual z equals x plus i y. And we have the real part of z equals x plus y minus 2 times x times y. Question A, find the imaginary part of f. And uh, question B, express f of z in terms of z instead of x and y. So we will set as usual our f of z equals u plus i times v. So we knew, uh, know our u already, x plus y minus 2xy. So how are we going to find our v? Well, we have an analytic function. And that means that f of z has to satisfy the Cauchy-Riemann equations. So that means that we know ux equals vy and uy equals minus vx. We do have u, so we can compute ux and ui. So here we have our u, so ux equals from this one 1 minus 2y, and our ui equals 1 minus 2x. So there they are. So now we have ux and ui, so we can compute both vx and vy. Let's, let's start with the first Cauchy-Riemann equation. We know ux equals vy, and ux equals 1 minus 2y, so vy equals 1 minus 2 times y. So we can integrate this with respect to y, we find the v equals y minus y squared plus a constant. And now the tricky part is constant may depend on x, because we're taking partial derivatives. So we have our v now, but up to a constant de uh, depending on x. So how are we going to determine k of x? Well, we use our second Cauchy-Riemann equations. We have our v, so now we can compute v of x, and then minus v, uh, partial v of x, and then use the ui. So first we differentiate v with respect to x, so these terms drop out, and we own, are only left with a k prime, so there we are. vx equals minus ui, uh, we have our ui over here, so minus ui equals minus 1 plus 2x, so there we are. So now we have k prime k prime equals minus 1 plus 2x over here. So we can integrate with respect to x. k does only depend on x now. So if we integrate with respect to x, we get a minus 1 plus x squared plus a constant, and this constant is just a number. So there we are, we have our k, plug it into our v over here. So there we have our v of x and y. y minus y squared minus x plus x squared plus a constant. That's the answer to part a. Then. Uh, part B, uh, we want to express f in terms of uh, z. Well, we know f of z equals u plus i times v. And now we want to express this in terms of z equals plus i y. Well, in general, you can uh, solve uh, x in terms of z and z uh, conjugate, and y solve it also in terms of z and z conjugate, and then substitute x and y, and then you can find it. Uh, if you have an easy function like this, you can do it even easier, because you can uh, look at the terms. You observe, for example, that you have an x plus i y over here, so that will, will give me together a z. Then we have a minus i times x, and do it together with the y, because minus i times x uh, together with this y, so we have to add an i y to get a plus y, and now we will get a z over there as well. Uh, so we have we are done now with this term, this term, uh, this term, and that term. And then you see we have a x squared minus y squared times a y. So we take a y, and then uh, we, ha uh, we we get a x plus i y squared that gives an x squared minus a y squared uh, plus two uh, times x times i times uh, y. But that's a term we also have over here. So now we have taken care of all terms, because that takes care of the three terms. Oh, plus i times c, of course. And then we can express in terms of z, because z equals x plus i y. We have a z, a minus i z plus i z squared plus our constant. So there we have our f of z. Now, if you don't see this last uh, part, how to combine all terms, 
and you just do x equals uh, real part uh, uh, plus uh, offset plus imaginary part offset divided by 2 and y equals real part offset minus imaginary part offset divided by 2i and substitute and compute and you will find it as well that that, that will work but this, me this method we did in this video is a bit faster. <laughs>